Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, my name is Devin Adams. I'm a Fortnite instructor and I am doing this video series just as a impromptu lab for when I take my NSC4. I am taking it actually guys in, in like five hours. So I'm just throwing everything in the kitchen sink in here just to see if I can uh, do what's required to be an NSC4 um, uh, certified Fortnet Fortigate awesome guy. Anyways, as you can tell, I'm a little bit loopy. I've been studying. I've been playing around. I'm um, also a single dad of three kids. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, <clears throat> so in the last video, and I didn't even think I was going to upload those uh, or or any of these, but I always decide what the heck. Who cares, right? Um, but we created a zone of two WAN interfaces, all right? And these are 10200 links, and in our make-believe world, that is... That is our public IP addresses that we're going to be using. And uh, I could not get the bloody thing to fail over. All right. I had to actually down the interface here. And it gave me a little inspiration for something. So this guy right here is going to be my sidekick for these videos because they are not planned. And uh, if anyone's ever heard of a rubber duck debugging where you talk to a rubber duck to get inspiration. Yeah, this is my 40 duck. Yeah, hi, 40 duck. Quack whatever all right he's gonna be that guy that you work with and you guys all know what I'm talking about that guy that's always like well why don't you do it better well sure all right so mr. duck here was not very impressed that I couldn't get the redundant links to fail over without downing the interface and it made me think and by the way I also put him here just because so much white space over here anyways <clears throat> and it made me think to myself well you know what that happens sometimes Sometimes we don't have enough outage for it to be down, but clearly there's something wrong with a link beyond our gateway, beyond the the first hop right here within the autonomous system. So I thought to myself, and the duck was like, Meh, you suck, you know, uh, why don't we go ahead and do a health link? So if these links ever do... Uh, degregate to the point where we can't pass traffic right even if the interface stays up it will still stay up so let's go ahead and do that so in this impromptu video I'm gonna set up a couple of health links and then we're gonna try that redundancy failover all over again so before I start I can't even remember where I picked off the last night so um, just like I said I've been running around so I'm going to log into my FortiGate. I'm going to start using Chrome too, just because it seems to play a little bit nicer than Firefox these days. I don't know why. So, but let that load up real quickly. I'll just pin this to the taskbar. All right. And let's go to our FortiGate. All right, here we go. I'm going to log in. I'm going to make sure that that port one is up and running. Okay. <clears throat> Never. And honestly, guys, any video in this playlist is just for me. So, um, if you think my other one sucked before, this one's going to be even worse because I'm just kind of rolling with it. So, here we go. All right. Uh, so, let's go to our network. Let's go to our interfaces and let's just make sure everything's up because I know that we're testing the load balancing. I'm pretty sure they are up because I think in my last video we we're distributing traffic between the two using the different algorithms so let's expand our zone here what okay they're both up but clearly you know I tried to disconnect this link and in my virtual world that doesn't create a down state now in the real world if we had a physical down connection right uh, between the FortiGate and whatever edge terminating cable modem you know fiber connection whatever uh, it would have a down state Okay, so, but a lot of times that's not the case, and it won't pull a route unless there is a down state. So, uh, my 40 duck here was just like, quack, you suck. Yes, I do suck, and we're going to do better. So, let's go ahead and hop into the CLI. Now, normally I'd use like a Terra term or something, or secure CRT. I'm just going to go directly into the console port here, all right? And, uh... I cannot remember how to do this off the top of my head. So, but it's going to be something like config system link health monitor. All right. And if we do a show here, you can see we don't have any link monitors. Now, what a link monitor is going to do 
And by the way, guys, if you are using SD-WAN, there is a more sophisticated way of doing this. They call them SLAs, all right? I'll probably get there later, okay? But right now, we're doing it the old way. They ripped all of this out of the GUI, I think, starting with 5.4. And that's because of the WAN link load balancing, which eventually turned into the SD-WAN. Older versions of the 40 OS actually had a lot of the stuff baked right into the GUI, but it's been replaced. But this is still the old way of how to do it. So I'm going to call it something. So I'm going to edit. I'm just going to say WAN1. All right. And if we do a git here, you can see all the different parameters. Now, there's not much that we have to do. Um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to set the source interface. So set source interface to port 1. So this is going to be the link monitor for port 1. All right. Set server is going to be, I'm just going to use Google's DNS. All right. I know it's not within the autonomous system of my little cloud there, right? It's not on my internet service provider. It's beyond a couple of hops away. That's what I'm trying to get at. Okay. And then uh, it does also support a whole bunch of other ones too, by the way. So if we do a set protocol here, you can see the different, the different uh, ones that are there. I'm going to keep it with ping though. All right. And let me do a gets again. Here we go. And then the set gateway IP, just so it makes sure that it leaves WAN1. All right, there we go. Boop. And uh, we don't have to worry about the source IP address. So I think that's actually it. So, but uh, for every second, it's going to go out and ping. If it loses five pings, it's going to take the route out of the routing table. And that's exactly what that does right there. Okay. And once it comes back after five pings, it will go ahead and bring itself back up. So uh, let's go ahead and do a next. And what a next will do is raise you one level from the CLI so you don't have to uh, go all the way back in. It's kind of like a table approach if you guys have ever used like Linux or uh, Junos is kind of like that. Anyways, um, let's do the next one. Set, oops, sorry, edit WAN2. All right, so this one's going to be for WAN2. I always do a git here just to see my template. So I'm going to set my source interface now as port 2. I'm going to set my server as I'm going to go to the same place. So it's fair and square. All right. Set my uh, gateway to 10.200.2.254. And that should be enough. Now, unfortunately, there's nothing in the GUI that shows you that this thing's bloody working. Always drove me nuts. All right. And, uh, but then Mr. Duck goes, Oh, really? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Nope. There's a 40 hack. All right, sure. Let's do it. So, guys, this does work with 6 and below, but I can confirm without a shadow of a doubt that in 6.2, they took away the ability to do this. So, but if you set up link monitors, and you're running in 40 OS 6.0 or below, you can go to monitor here and you can actually go to SD-WAN monitor and you can see your link healths that you set up. Okay? So as you can see, our monitors are up and running and they're doing just fine going out to Google's DNS. And check this out. Are you guys ready for the magic? Yeah. Watch this jitter latency and packet loss what so not only can you see the active uh, load balancing let me actually show you guys that let me go to get internet noise or make internet noise sorry all right <clears throat> let's make some noise okay so this will generate some traffic for us and you can actually see it distributing the traffic based off of our source destination algorithm that we did but look at this look at that is that cool guys like you can actually keep an eye out on your jitter latency and packet loss directly from the GUI just using these health link monitors okay so um, and what's nice about that you know people start calling and saying the internet's slow well what does that mean you know uh, you won't have to be chasing you know, oh, is this something in my internal system? You can just come right here and be like, oh, no, it's my internet service provider. So um, anyways, 
But the whole point was Rubber Ducky being a jerk here saying, Wah, you know, your link went down and you didn't even fail over it. Well, okay, sure, Mr. Duck, let's try it. Are you guys ready? So I think that's port two. No, that's port one. Let's kill it. Boom. Oh, dead. Now remember, in the last video, that did not bring down that connection. But now it should fail the five pings and remove itself automatically from the routing table. Yeah, look at that. What? Yeah, let's go into our routing monitor. Yeah, do you guys see any static route? Any static route? Not at all. Did we lose connection to the internet? Not one bit. Yeah. Is that cool or what? Okay. Pretty cool, huh? Then, when the link comes back alive, because remember, the interface never went down. But once it comes back to life, all right, it's going to wait the five, it's going to wait the five pings. And then once this comes back up, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool, guys? So we actually got failover based off of a criteria beyond our first little hop here. So, and the benefit of seeing the uh, seeing the packet loss, jitter, and latency on our WAN connections, I think, has a lot of value. So, but if you guys do do the SD WAN, all right, it will do these and way more so coming up. And I'll eventually do that uh, eventually if I have time. So, whack. All right, guys, if this duck thing becomes annoying, I'll probably stop doing them. But Mr. 40 Duck here, thank you for being a jerk. And, uh, Hopefully someone will find value of that, and uh, I'll think of something else to do in the next video. All right, thanks a lot.